<laughs> and you girls just wanna have fun. Yeah, are you having fun here in NGConf? Yeah. yeah. Are you having fun with Angular? Yeah. All right. Well, for me, this song is about being bold and doing what you like. Even though, you know, you don't have to think about what other people think. But sometimes we don't know what we like just because we haven't experienced it yet. And this is one of the problems we try to address in NG Girls. And you can help us with that, right? So we all know there's a diversity problem in the tech world. The movie code debugging the gender gap gives a good background on this. Also, Joe Eames gave a really fascinating talk about unconscious bias targeted both at others and ourselves in NGNL. Let me tell you how this bias has affected me and how organizations prom promoting women coders have emboldened and inspired me. For years, I believed that coding isn't for me. My father and brother are really good with it, and they never discouraged me, on the contrary, but still, having trouble understanding the concept of pointers, I felt like, you know, I'm too girly for this. But instead, guess what I want, uh, went to learn? Physics. <laughs> Later on, when I helped my boyfriend, uh, with his um, homework in computer science, he told me that I'm really good at this and I should do something with my logical thinking and I should go study programming. So uh, that was a sign for me to go and enrol, enrol for information systems. And this was also a sign for me that my boyfriend's a keeper. <laughs> Today we're married. <laughs> So it is so important to have a supporting environment that lifts you up and opens your eyes to a world of possibilities. During my studies, I enjoyed the challenges, which were not at all frustrating as homework in physics. <laughs> um, when I did my homework, I could see the results right in front of my eyes on the computer screen. And I really loved it. But still, I thought, what kind of a career choice is this? Then I participated in the very first Django Girls event. Who has heard about Django Girls? Django Girls organize workshops for women all around the world. In these workshops, the participants follow a tutorial where they build their own web application with Django and with the help of mentors. Now, even though I've already had some experience coding, this workshop and its organizers really gave me motivation to keep on and inspired me. So, inspired by Django Girls, I, just a few months ago, NG Girls was born. And the workshops have the same concept. The participants who are women who have little or no experience at all in programming. Um, they follow a written tutorial in which they build their very first web application with Angular and the Angular CLI. And with the help of mentors, of course. So, we had the very first workshop in Tel Aviv in November. And it was a huge success. The place was packed. The mentors were awesome, and we've got really good feedback and expectations to keep on doing events like this. Then we had another successful workshop in NG Vikings uh, in Copenhagen. One of the mentors there, Robert, organized an NG Girls workshop just two weeks ago uh, as part of JS Unconf in Hamburg. 
And we also have Erika in Brazil, who's doing workshops and other activities with NG Girls. These pictures were taken just a few days ago here at NG Conf. We had an NG Girls workshop here. And as you can see, it was really successful. So a shout out to the mentors and the participants. Yeah. We have many more plans to encourage women to step into this world of development. And I hope that in time we'll be able to reach different types of audiences, from schoolgirls to grown-ups, from, um, from beginners who seek the opportunity to learn something new to more experienced developers who can become role models. Now, there are many other brilliant organizations that support women in tech, like women tech makers and women who code and so on. We collaborate with these organizations, but we give the Angular twist. Angular is such a rich platform, but yet it is so easy to start with. And the Angular community is truly spectacular. Its embracing nature is an essential part, essential ingredient in this kind of activities. So, how can you help? You can organize an NG Girls workshop wherever you are. We will help you with resources, and you just have to organize the participants and mentors. You can contribute. The tutorial is open source, and you can help us improving it. And of course, we're always looking for sponsors, both for ongoing events, activities, or for specific events. And if you have any other ideas, really, we'd love to hear. So come talk to me afterwards, right? So if you have fun with Angular, and you would love to give back to the community, come join us with NG Girls. Everyone is welcome. And there is so much to do. Thank you.